So my name is Rebecca Morris. I'm a senior scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, where I'm also the deputy director of the Mesoscale and Microscale Meteorology Laboratory. Yeah, so I'm a researcher, so I study weather prediction and how to improve weather forecasts and also how you can, how you can communicate those weather forecasts to help people at risk make decisions to protect themselves when hazardous weather threatens. Well, hurricane forecasts have improved a lot in the last 20 or 30 years. And now, for example, as we saw in Hurricane Irma um, last summer, hurricane forecasters can now predict where a hurricane is going to make landfall off in several days in advance. But it's still hard to predict the specific locations where the hurricane's going to go and the impacts like the flooding and the strong winds where those will be the most severe. I think one key thing is improving the forecast not only of the hurricane itself, but also of the impacts that people are going to experience. So people want to evacuate or protect their home because they're going to experience strong winds or storm surge flooding or power outages or the roads will be closed and they won't be able to get medicines or food. So those are the kinds of things that are important to predict better.